welcome back and in this video we're going to take a look at an Edpuzzle lesson that was already created and was sent to me so that I can assign it and add it to my classroom on Edpuzzle, even Google Classroom for that matter, but then have it ready so that my students can view it. Now, this is really easy to do because once someone sends you the link to an Edpuzzle lesson that's already been created, all you have to do is open up that link and as long as you're signed in as a teacher, you can do one of two things right off the bat regarding assigning or copying the lessons. So assigning the lesson will also simultaneously copy that lesson into your content. Uh, the only real difference is that assigning it will copy it and then immediately allow you to pick a Google Classroom course that you have already imported into Edpuzzle, so it's ready to go. If you copy the lesson, you can still edit it later on. Uh, you can see there's an edit button, and will, this button too will copy that lesson into your content and then let you create custom questions aside from the ones that are already uh, provided down below over here in the original lesson. But if you're ready to just go ahead and use this right away because this is something that has been um, approved of by your team, right, or your PLC, you can go ahead and click on this assign button. Remember, it's gonna make a copy of it. You can see Edpuzzle copied to your content over here. And then I can add it to my one class that I've already imported into Google Classroom. I'm gonna go ahead and check this. And then I'm gonna select next up here in the top right corner. I have some general settings that I can configure such as a start date, the end date, whether I want to prevent skipping or not, how many attempts students can have, if I want uh, closed captioning to be on for accessibility purposes, and then from here I can even just post it directly on Google Classroom if I want to. Um, I'm going to go ahead and click on yes so that my students in Google Classroom will have that link so they can come directly into our lesson here under our Edpuzzle account and then complete that assignment. The great thing is, once they complete an Edpuzzle, you'll be able to go into your Edpuzzle teacher account, find that video that you assigned, and then look at the data associated with how many kids completed that assignment or not. As you can see, we just went ahead and assigned that lesson to our class. We have our students, so here I have two test students within that class, and then now they'll be able to see that lesson. They'll also be able to see that post in Google Classroom. And here is that very lesson on Google Classroom ready for my students. Edpuzzle is a fantastic tool and we can't wait for you to try it out.